Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes. If what I read in the file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Hmm, yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it only was over the phone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. Fuha! <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins, and what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. New info has been added. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and discovered that we were dead and we tried to help this woman with red hair that we see there on the screen. We managed to save her from an assassin and now we have tracked the our murderer down to his base of operations of sorts. Let's go ahead and look at this file. Hmm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that, Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in the his envelope instead, sir? Yeah, if you're trying to assassinate someone, you don't really want to get someone whose name is Nearsighted Jigo. Anyway, there's not really anything we can do with this file. It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! Did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat, sir. Bah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm. Lin, is it? So that's her name, is it? But this file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. That's an insanely elaborate setup. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lin. This sure is a weird room. Traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? But yeah, I love this guy and how he's like, extremely... Like an extremely comical villain. Egad, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir. But I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Hmm, yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of a current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's... 
Hmm, yes, Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes, it is a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes, and that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Hmm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Fuhaha! <laughs> One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names come up, both come up here like this? Where is your head, man? I told you I don't want to see this face! My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I will say it's quite fun to, uh... Here, let me go ahead and... Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've gotta find the right timing to get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is the way to flip this situation around. Get it? We wanna go ahead and do that, and now, the core right here is flipped up, meaning we can get to it. And now that it's down, we can move right over here. Where's your head, man? I think this is the same stuff. But yeah, it's fun going back through here, knowing all of the different plot twists and things in the future and stuff like that. And, you know, seeing at all the hints that they were laying throughout this. I've already seen a couple playing through it now. I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with the painting spinning around and the like, it's hard to give a man the jitters. It's enough to give the man a man of jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, yes, I hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Egad! It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice! Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Mm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, did you not, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lin is in danger again. I guess maybe I'll just give him the same voice as Jigo. They're just kind of like... Not really like nameless, but like... They're just kind of like... What's the word? They're all pretty much the same. This is one step ahead Tango. I'm at the Target's apartment now. And? Out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the, the hitman department? Bah! No, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott, now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it, you're even hanging up one step ahead. 
the villains in this game are so comical, and I am so excited to get to voice them. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pay. Lynn. Can't lose her. She's my only lead if I have a hope if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Well, there's not really anything we can do here now, so let's head on over to Lynn's apartment. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet. But unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. Looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And even an unluckier little doggy. The poor brave little warrior. Must have been trying to defend his mistress. Flynn came home now. I have to do something about this situation, and fast. Trick time! So now the dead one that we're going to be talking to is a dog. Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach each other, reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are, presumably, the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! You mean, you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. And now this is interesting. Some of you might be looking at that uh, very interestingly if you've played the first Ace Attorney game because in that game there was also a dog named Missile. Uh, he was owned by Detective Gumshoe, and you could use him as a piece of evidence, but he just ate uh, the samurai dogs that Larry had in Case 4. Uh, both of those dogs are based on the writer of this game, Shu Takami's own pet dog. Anyways. That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Well, I guess now I know it's, a, it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But she died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save this... Okay, there's a typo there. Time to save this his life. New info has been added. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me. I followed you, you brought me with you, one or the other. Hmm. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first let's watch our last four minutes unfold. Then we can use what, you, what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the back at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. 
Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Yippee, I found the remote. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Uh, why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Oops, oops! Whew, that was close. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Knock this wall down! Hmm, I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as separate charge and counting never liked that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that! I'm dead! I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a bite, a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever someone, somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get a little is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things. Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. Those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So, maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Now we gotta get back to the past. So, for this first little section right here, we're just gonna be kind of waiting for a little bit. So, while we're doing that, uh, I just want to talk about Missile. How he's the most adorable, like, fictional dog ever. He's great. Well, it can't really change the little lady's fate by just standing watching around, standing around watching. The intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. My ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Also, apologies if I'm not really good at doing voices for different characters in this one. Because I sort of imagine different... Because I'm not really good at doing high voices, because my voice is nat like naturally kind of this deep. Uh, and so when I try to go a bit higher, it just kind of hurts my voice and sounds a bit weird. Uh, and I kind of start, like, my voice starts breaking. Uh, so there's not really anything good I can do. Uh, There's not really anything good I can do for a higher pitched voice. I, I might have used to uh, a few years ago on the channel when I was when I had a bit of a higher pitched voice and I could do that, but uh oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? 
So when she starts to fumble those headphones, go ahead and use the umbrella to knock it out of her hands. Oh darn. Oh no, darn. How did I manage to do that? Lynn just brought those bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, missile? Darn. Now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate changed. So now this this uh, chapter two sort of has like a bit of waiting that we just have to do. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. So once she's brought that over, we want to go ahead and just use that to move across. And what did that thought bubble say? The question is, what do we do now? Unless there's something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in. So in that case... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we, why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hmm, hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Cam Miss Camilla under there, right? Exactly. If I could possess with Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Where'd the donuts go? Oop. Went a bit too far there. So we want to go and use this ornament right here. Shut that mutt up! If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. So, now we've got more timing here. You want to time getting on here and you know let me go ahead and see if I can I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively do something we can make this ornament rotate a bit faster which will raise it up a bit more which allows for us to open up this latch right here and that drops that little box down there which doesn't seem like something important right now but it will be later I promise But now, after slowing down a bit, we want to we want to go ahead and open up that door right right there because it'll fling the ball across down to underneath the couch. Wow, you sent that thing flying! I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, under the sofa, hey? Eh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is, how do I lead her under there? Alright. Uh... One thing that I will say is that I love uh, like Shu Takumi or Shu Takumi's writing because in the first three Ace com combined with the first three Ace Attorney games and this game, and I'm sure that the Great Ace Attorney games are good too. I just haven't played those yet. Uh, he is like a really good writer for visual novels and stuff like that.
Missile, no! What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Aw, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. And we saved her just in time. Nobody's here, eh? My prey is bound to come home at some time. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. That was pretty cool. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh! Oh, thank you! Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I... I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? Hmm... I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy living your everyday life. Guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get back to... <laughs> Well, I guess we'd better get back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard. Alright, I got it. I'm on my way. Hmph. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Flynn! And call from Lin, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. There's that little doggy all cur curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard for him to get back. That's fine, but what's with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So what would a living, do living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I'd better try possessing him and see. Oh! It's you! It's you! It's... Mm. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? 
After everything we shared together? That drama? That tearful goodbye? I miss all. But, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being a of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. So, do you have anything else to say, Missile, or...? Hmph, that Camilla, it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. So that was you so showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I! So, let's go ahead and listen in on what they're saying. Remember, we have the ability to listen in on conversations through the telephone. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay! Well, I don't know if I'm okay, exactly. You won't believe what just ha- Listen to me! You've got to get out of there right now! But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that ch restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Eek! Lynn! Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn's alright. I'd better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is, but I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? So now you can see why I went ahead and opened up that hatch and got the music box a bit earlier. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I'd better keep Camilla find her- I'd better help Camilla find her treasure. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I'm a lot- Hmm. I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. But I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Hey, wait a minute! That cart just moved, didn't it? I've always thought so, but this just proves it. This apartment building is... Leaning to one side. Whew! That little lady knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. So now we want to go ahead and direct her over here with the star ornament once again. This is it! The music box! Yippee! I'll leave this remote here. But don't you touch it, missile! If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking! Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle on my own. 
With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here?